and then i went to the interview hall in front of the interview hall when my finally number came it was five o'clock it was five o'clock in the evening so we basically waited for seven to eight hours before our interview actually started and i was waiting outside the interview hall and i still remember i was pretty calm and pretty confident that i'm going to make it there was not much doubt in my head at that time because i knew that i have this method and this method if nobody has ever told this method that this, this is going to work i know that this is going to work because i prepared this very well and i had this in my head that i know the kind of questions that they are going to ask i know their mentality i know that how i can deal with that and i know that how i can get this job so finally they called me i went over there somewhere close to five to six people over there and three of them most notable one so there was one chairman so chair chairman will be in, at the center there were two people one at my left and one at my right and they were like good cop bad cop so one at my right was super rude and was asking tough questions to me one at my left was super calm and mellow and there was one more person who was in between the chairman and the good cop who was also having asking like average questions but had a smile on his face and there was one more person between the bad cop and the chairman and that person had no other job other than going through my records my cvs my certificates and all that so yeah now i am sure that there were only five people over there so it was a sitting kind of position it was a oval kind of table people sitting al- uh, around me and i'm sitting on this side i was obviously sitting like this because this is how you're supposed to sit in the interview and uh, then obviously they started with simple questions that did you have breakfast where are you staying and i said that i'm staying at anushak this nbh and all that simple questions trying to break the ice and then they started with the same old question what are your favorite subjects so i had prepared this because according to my philosophy of how to crack bars interview what i had figured out is that your favorite subject matters the most so according to my philosophy what i think that four to five favorite subjects that they ask that really starts the game and that really dictates a lot of your interview so basically the top subject that you mentioned they are going to start asking questions from that most of the time that is going to happen and because of that majority of the interview as far as 50% of the interview goes on in first subject only so what i say is the first subject should be always strongest this is what i figured out going through so many interviews so i gave strength of material over there so they started asking questions from strength of material then they started asking questions from fluid mechanics strength of material went very good actually i was able to answer questions properly over there was able to figure out few things and think about few things that even i did not know how it goes so here's the thing about bars interview they really look for how much concept you have and how much you can think out of the box how much you can push yourself beyond what you already have studied in the books and how much you have been taught by your teachers so it is a different kind of environment bars interview is a lot like gentle people sitting over there not trying to harass you they're just trying to get you to calm down other than the bad cop who was sitting over there other than them they were like very chill trying to help you give you hints of you they want you to come to the answer if you need hints they are going to give you hints but still they want you to give the answer finally whether you are able to get to the answer if you are directed towards the answer that is what they want to find out and these are the mental characteristics that i had already figured out that hints are going to be very very important so there were a lot of points where i gave the wrong answer there were a lot of points where i gave the right answers but they said or brought some disbelief in my head brought some confusion just to check whether you really know the answer or you you are so gullible that you can change your mind right so if you have good concept they are not looking for rocket science le- level or nuclear science level technology knowledge they just looking for whatever you know whatever you have studied the basics the thermodynamics the fluid mechanics you should be having good knowledge in that and an in depth knowledge in that a good concept a good strong hold in that whether you have it or not and that is how it goes and bars interview is unlike any other interview that you are going to see it is going to be probably the longest interview that you have faced my interview lasted for close to 1 hour to 1 and a half hour and that is another thing that bars interviews now 
they it really depends how long it lasts because if it is lasting only for 40 minutes as long as 40 minutes so sometimes it ends even in 10 minutes 20 minutes then you are not going to get selected that is the general thumb rule yes there are exceptions but the longer they stay over there it's like the more interested they are in taking you in right so i was called at 5 o'clock from 5 o'clock to 5:30 close to that i had to sit outside the interview room because the prior person who was having the interview the interview was going on and around 5:30 i went in so i checked the time because i knew that time will fly and theory of relativity is definitely going to be applied over here and you are not going to figure out exactly how long the interview did last but it is important for you to have the confidence whether you are going to get selected or not and uh, really throughout the interview i did not see the time and just before the interview was going to end i checked the clock and for 7 o'clock i knew that if the interview is going to last this long then definitely you are in and more importantly you know they ask questions from fluid mechanics they ask questions from strength of material they ask few questions from heat transfer the heat transfer my question was water enters at 0 degree centigrade gets out at 300 degree centigrade draw the temperature profile most people drew like straight or uh, gradually increasing temperature profile but what most people do not know is that water exits at 300 degree centigrade it is not going to be water at all it is going to be steam because the boiling point of water is 100 degree centigrade and they are going to take care of everything they are going to mention properly that it is one atmospheric pressure so these tiny things they are going to notice and the first time i drew i made the mistake as well but i caught the hint very soon they said that see the temperature over there is 300 degree centigrade and i knew what they are talking about because i had gone through the previous interview questions and this interview question had already appeared over there right so from their eyes they thought that ha huh, kid caught the hint pretty fast must be smart and i'm like i already know the question to a huge extent but still after knowing also i had gone through it a long time ago so if i knew it that well i would not have made the mistake at all so that was the heat transfer question and then we went into heat transfer continued actually they asked few few data based questions from thermodynamics like what is the critical point pre- temperature and pressure for this water and all that and honestly i did not know the answer and truly i knew that they do not really care about mug up questions if you don't know the answer just tell them that you don't know and they are going to move forward none of us are going to waste time then they asked a question that was the most important one there was like a frustrum and a parallel path so first they made it only a cylindrical body and then they asked the temperature profile they love the temperature profile man not only in mechanical engineering in any field of science if they can get you to draw graphs they are going to make you draw graphs because this is the thing about bars interview they want physical understanding whether you understand the physical significance or not because if you can understand the science down to physical form then you understand it best and graphs are the best representation of easiest understanding of what is happening so they are going to make you draw a lot of graphs in the last uh, vlog i have already told that i have taken a lot of mock interviews for bark as well and in that i also focus towards that only that whether you understand things physically or not or all of the information is just surface level you understand so that is what the scientists over there are going to be looking for so they asked me to first make a graph of simple cylinder and then they made the cylinder attached to a frustrum you understand so there will be one diameter and there will be a bigger diameter over here and that is what they do they give you a very simple question first then they raise the level then they make it more complicated then they make it more complicated seeing how far you are capable of going right and uh, they increased it and then they asked me the temperature profile whether it is going to be uh, concave or it is going to be convex and you really don't know the answer and at that time i had never seen such question before and all i could have done is look at the fourier equation and find out whether it is going to be concave or convex i looked at it properly and i gave the answer i don't even remember he made basically three diagrams so he made one straight line one concave another one con- convex he gave it one two three and uh, i thought about it for a long time they were trying to confuse me it has already been one and a half hour and i know that this is the final answer i cannot get out of this hall giving a wrong answer then no way going to select me or at least the chances are going to be very low i have to give the la- last answer correct high amount of pressure 
this question I have not seen before. My hands literally starts to shake, and the chairman finally takes the paper. They were staying on this question for a long time. Give the answer. Give the answer. And finally, chairman takes the paper, says one, two, three. Pick one and go. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I have to give the proper answer now. So. I finally thought about it properly. Okay, area is decreasing. The slope must be increasing like that. I thought about it and I picked one number. Let us say three. And they say, okay, thank you very much. And you can leave now, Ashish. And I got up, started to leave. I said, thank you, sir. And when I reached the door, they said, Ashish, please wait. You have to return the pencil. <laughs> and I said, okay, yeah. So by the way, if you don't know, all all the interview is going to go on these kind of A4 sheets, and they are going to provide a pencil. You cannot bring your own pencil. You cannot bring your own pen. You have to do the rough work with that pencil and that paper. Leave that pencil. Leave that paper. Get out like that. I left that pencil. Got out. And honestly, for the first ten minutes, I was shitting my pants because I thought that I've given the wrong answer. Because this happens the moment you get out. You thought, oh no 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 no. I made that one mistake the numerator should have been in denominator there was a minus sign i'm like hell is this all i did man did i really fuck it up finally after all this i really did mess it up and i went throughout thinking the way and i started walking randomly some place i reached okay i do not have to be over there then i finally found a way to get out of that building it was already seven o'clock most of the building was closing it was dark and somewhere when I got back to the room, the two roommates asked, how is the interview? So, uh, and then the second one said, how is the interview? Uh, and he said that my was also. Uh. <laughs> so I sat down and the one person who was from mechanical, he asked a question to me, like, what were the questions that was asked? I said, this question, this question, this question. And the, finally, that frustrum question, I said that this was the question and i explained this and I explained this and i started writing down i'm like oh okay finally <laughs> what i answered over there was actually correct and then i cross-checked it and then i explained it to that person and he said yeah yeah this is the correct i'm like yes i got the answer man i got the answer <laughs> so i said okay i left at a positive note obviously they are not going to say or show that you are going to be selected or not earlier there used to be a time where if you're selected the interviewers are going to give you a pink slip there itself and that is basically a medical slip that you can go for the medical checkup that basically means that you are going to get selected but they stopped doing it after i think 2014 2015 so now there's no chance that you're going to find out for sure that you have been selected on that same day but this gave me huge confidence because now basically i've not given a single wrong answer over there in the interview yes i gave wrong answers in the beginning but they gave hints and i finally came to the correct answer so that was a big thing and now i was 100 percent confident that i had cracked this interview there's absolutely no doubt over it and barc interview is the most bizarre interview that you're going to see it breaks all the norms like obviously you think that in an interview you are going to be over there in formals with tie proper hair comb properly well, you're going to find interviewers over there in chapel slippers. And uh, they are very casual. They're not even going to ask, introduce yourself. There's going to be no person from HR, no one looking for your personality. You can literally sit over there in jeans and t-shirts and they are not going to care. I don't suggest, but I have seen people going over there in jeans and t-shirts, especially science people. Because science people don't have interviews in their masters also for campus placement, most of the colleges. But uh, here they are for the first time for an interview. They come in slippers and jeans and t-shirt and red t-shirts with polka dots. I've seen all of those. And they literally don't care. They only care about how much you know and how much good concept you have and how much you can think. It's as simple as that. It is the fairest, the best interview that I've ever seen. And honestly, a lot of interview needs to get to that level. In which like it is so pure that the interviews are only looking whether you know the concept or not whether you can think or not they are not looking for some special extra knowledge like a lot of times even isro interviews looks for that that what how much do you know about ramjet engine scramjet engine and all that what do you know about isro programs these people like they don't care whether you know your basic subjects or not that is all they care about it was a great experience man it was a great experience and i hope that i was able to share you the experience